Hey everyone, this is your girl Coteria, and welcome back to my channel, My Opinion Vlog. Now, um, I kind of predicted this will happen. I know that this too shall come to pass with Nicki Minaj starting to shade JT. I knew that this was going to happen because it's only in Nicki Minaj nature to fall out with all the upcoming rap girls. You see her track record, you see her history. She never, you know, stay in long relationships such as associateships, or we can even say business associates with these rap girls. She do a feature and after the feature, you know, she quickly falls out with him. And I always felt like a lot of the fallout comes from Nicki Minaj. I feel like she's very passive aggressive, very controlling, you know, uh, like a diva, you know, her personality, you know, she has a very tough exterior, you know, and it's kind of like, if you don't do what I say and what I say goes, and if you don't follow my lead, then it's F you. That's the type of vibe I get from Monique and Minaj. Uh, and, and plus, you know, she is a Sagittarius, if I'm not mis mistaken. She's a fire style like myself. So similar personalities, you know what I'm saying? Like, not really, but you know, anywho. But I knew, you know, that this will happen because it happened with all the recent rap girls she was cool with. You understand? She ended up turning on, started shading them, going to her spaces or go to her station head and she's talking circles, meaning she don't want to put an ad on it. She um, basically throwing her subliminals towards them and stuff like that. And you kind of could put two to two together. When it comes down to Nicki Minaj, you got to learn how to read between the lines when it comes to her. She's not going to be black and white. She's not going to say your name, but she will kind of like throw little jabs in her conversation. And it's not hard to piece together who she's talking about. She's always in this weird type of like mood where she's laid back. You know what I'm saying? Like she's dragging out, you know what I'm saying? Her words almost sound like she could be whispering. I hate when she talks and when she gets into her little spaces and station head and she starts to talk like this. And it's like, girl, just get out what you're going to say. She kind of drags it. So, you know, she went to say she went to her station head last night. Now, y'all know that JT just basically dropped her first mixtape. Okay. <clears throat> if you want to say first solo album. So, you know, yesterday was JT day. You know, everybody was congratulating her, supporting her. They were streaming her mixtape. Um, they were saying that they like all, most of the songs on there. They were saying the whole um, album is a whole vibe. They said she did an excellent job. Just big upping JT, something that, of course, you would do with a artist that now has decided to do a solo career. It took her three years long to finally get her songs together and put out an album, but I'm glad she did because I always said that JT was at a snail rate. And then just almost a year ago, Onika Minaj had gave her some pointers as to how to grow her following and her fan base. And she took the information that Nicki Minaj had gave to her as a mentor because JT is Nicki Minaj's mentee now. You know, she had helped the girl out in the music business and, and showing her how to um, maneuver inside the music business. And like I said, she's doing these backyard barbecue. Basically, she's doing these club appearance and shows, which has been successful, you know, and she also added more dates, you know what I'm saying? So I'm happy for JT that she's being consistent and she's finally standing on business. Okay. She's not kind of moving at a snail rate, even though I feel like she should be way further in her career because she's been in the music industry since 2018. And she's been telling us for the past three years that she is going to basically be dropping music and music. And she finally decided to do do it late 2023 up until now of 2024. Now, this is where Nicki Minaj comes in because they said last night she was on her station head and she was talking about a whole lot of, I'm not really sure, maybe about her Pink Friday tour, just I don't know what was this discussion, but all I know is that this audio clip stuck out, it, it stood out like a sore thumb and it's going viral where they took a piece where they saying that she allegedly throwing shade at JT she was just saying, you got to wonder when they go from unliking you to like you, hmm, 
So she's saying that, you know, when people first hated you, had a great dislike for you, all of a sudden turn a new leaf and start to like you and kiss up in your ASS, you got to wonder what's their motives. What, what is their, you know, alternative motives? What, what is their intentions as to why all of a sudden that they want to become your associate or friend or get acquainted with you? So that's kind of like what Nicki Minaj was kind of alluding at. So a lot of people felt like she was taking digs at JT. One thing I can say is that Nicki Minaj have stopped supporting JT, such as sharing things that things that's on her IG or her Twitter. She's not she has not been sharing her recent solo song, which is called OK. She haven't shared that um, to her Twitter spaces, neither the remix. So she haven't really been promoting JT like she did a couple of months ago when she jumped on the um, I forgot what the song she did a remix on. I can't, I don't know if it's sideways. I think it might be sideways. She did a remix to that. You understand? So she shared that. But I'm going to say it's been probably a good three or four months where Nicki Minaj have stopped kind of like supporting JT and sharing her music and, think, and promoting anything that she got going on music wise. I feel like this started ever since she started doing her backyard barbecue shows. You, I think this is when the support stopped with Nicki. I think that she started to see that, you know, her little venue start to sell out a lot of her barbs, which came from oh, Nicki Minaj camp. Nicki Minaj sent them over there to JT. And I kind of started seeing comments where a lot of barbs were like, wait a minute, I'm confused. I'm kind of conflicted because, you know, our queen Nicki Minaj told us to go support JT. You know, since JT turned a new lead and she kind of back paddled and she started to, you know, kiss Nicki Minaj ASS in the recent years. Because, you know, her record label told her that she needs to, well, at the time, the city girls kind of need to clear things up with Nicki Minaj, I guess, to get a feature and start working with her since things, you know, went sideways with Cardi B. I spoke about this. And so that's what JT did. And so, you know, Nicki Minaj was very quickly forgiven um, when it came down to JT, but not Young Miami. And I'm not really sure. But I think maybe because she felt like JT is more talented and gifted than Young Miami. As the reason why she probably start to kind of take um, JT under her wings. And then, you know, of course, Young Miami is not serious about her rap career. She was kind of under, you know, Diddy nut sex at the time. So I would choose a JT over a Young Miami too if I was Nicki. But like I said, I never understood what was, you know, Nicki Minaj's attention. I felt like she was just kind of trying to do this to get under, you know, of course, Cardi B's skin, which Cardi B didn't care. Because that's how, you know, that's why Cardi B and JT had to fall out because she called JT a lap dog. You can't think for yourself, you know, you a pick me girl and you only siding with her for whatever reason because maybe she can help further your career. A lot of people say this and a lot of people feel this way. You understand that's the only reason why, you know, JT went to kind of kissing up at Nicki Minaj ASS. Because like I said, when all this happened, even though it's old, but still it's out there. It's going to always be out there. You had no reason to come for Nikki, and you said some really kind of like demeaning, disrespectful things. And for Nicki Minaj, she kind of don't, you know, forget and forgive so quickly. So like I said, um, Nikki started to, you know, how you say, you know, do like little spaces, jump on little lives with her. But all of that, like I said, stopped when this girl started to take off with her um, club appearance shows. I think Nicki Minaj, you know, start to get a little bit of jealous that her barbs are starting to support um, her mentee. They're over there on her spaces. I remember one time they had a, I guess, a station head live at the same time. And I remember Nicki Minaj had gave her barbs an ultimatum. Y'all need to be in here. I need five or six thousand in my live right now. But I believe JT was live streaming and she did not like that. And then she kind of like threw some shade time by old people are kind of, you know, something about garage sales, like a, a garage sale, whatever. And people saying she's kind of talking about JT, doing subliminals without a, a name on it. So, you know, I have seen myself because I went to her Twitter and IG, and I noticed for the a past couple of months, Nicki Minaj have not been, you know, sharing any of, the, uh, of, of, I'm sorry, any of JT music or anything she got going on her platform. I'm also hearing that she unfollowed her on Twitter, but I'm also hearing that she never followed JT on Twitter or IG. So I'm not really sure. But like I said, this is typical Onika Minaj behavior. She always have this track record where she falls out with the rap girls, Doja Cat. You have Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, Lotto. Now I Spice. Now she's picking on JT and JT have not done nothing 
Again, you know, Nicki Minaj is very miserable and she is like a hog mog. She wants all the attention to herself. Even though she's the queen of rap, y'all queen, she'll never be mine. And I'm going to always say that. And she's at the top of the female um, food chain and, you know, top of the female rap food chain. And she solidified, like I said, she, no one can dethrone her. She is the queen. That's still not enough. She still got to bully these girls, you know, demean them, make them feel little, you know, get their, um, to get her barbs, the ones that are really loyal to her, to start now nitpicking on somebody who she, you know, turned a new, a new leaf with, who she got acquainted, who she bigged up, who she told her fans and followers to go show, you know, to show her grace and mercy, okay, to go over there and support her. And now, like I said, she starts to shake them. This is typical Nicki Minaj behavior. She's not a girl's girl. Even though she may say she's trying to be, she is, she's not. That's what y'all say. Nicki Minaj don't get along with these rap girls for too long. And, and I don't know why. She just, she just doesn't. JT is not doing anything but doing what she's supposed to do. And that is, you know, be a rapper. Put out music, interact with her fans, try to build her audience base. Even though a lot of them are barbs. And see, this goes back to what I would say over and over again. Stop asking for features. Stop kissing ASS. Build your own rap career because when you do this, this girl is going to always show you and give you backhanded treatment. She's going to always, like I said, use the fact that she used her power, her momentum to soar you or to get, you know, to kind of promote you. And then it's going to get thrown in your face once you start dissing her back. You don't have to do anything for Nicki Minaj to start dissing you. You could just, you know, live your life. Do your music and like I said, you know, basically get on the billboards, uh, billboards 100 charts. You know, your music close to the number one spot on iTunes and she don't like it. When she feel like you're about to overshadow her or bypass her on the charts, this is when she start getting iffy. And this is when, she, when stuff started to get sticky with her. She's always been insecure. And like I, like I said, again, you can't compete where you don't compare. These girls is nowhere close to what Nicki Minaj have achieved. Mind you, I consider Nicki Minaj an OG at this point. She's in her early 40s. She's soon going to be in her mid-40s. I'm going to say she's kind of OG. She's been in the music um, industry for about 15, 16 years. She don't have to compete with these upcoming girls. Let them breathe. Let them live. They're not doing nothing but doing, you know, kind of just doing what they love. And that's being rap girls. Why you have to throw shade? Why you have to take digs? Why do you have to talk in circles and, dis and leave your bars confused? They're already a little bit delulu when it comes down to you. But now a lot of barbs are kind of saying that we kind of sick of this stuff with Nicki Minaj. Her own barbs are kind of coming down on her and say, please don't do this. This is a solo, you know, rap female artist who's trying to build her solo career. We see where she came from. We see the demise of the city girls. She gets bullied, she gets talked about because her skin color, she's dark skin, and you know, of course the industry is very colorist. She's not giving uh, um, a lot of favorable chances because of her skin color in her past. Please, oh Nicki Minaj, don't do this to her. We know that, you know, whatever you tell your barbs to go sick and, and go, you know, start some ish with, they're gonna do it. But a lot of barbs are kinda like, no, I'm not gonna do it. You know, I'm, I'm gonna like both women's. So I don't care what Nicki Minaj got going on. I don't care if she's throwing shade towards JT. We're not picking a side. So you got the soft barbs and you got the hard barbs. The hardcore barbs that really her barbs that kind of when she say go sick them. And when she goes say, okay, go attack this person. They're going to do it. And they're going to say, forget JT. Yeah, you've been nice to her, but you might have did something behind the scenes that we're not privy to or we're not aware of. And like I said, you don't have to do Nicki, anything to Nicki Minaj. It's just do your job and be a, you know, try to be a very talented, skillful rap girl. And she's going to start hating on you. And especially when she feel like, you know what, your solo or your single is doing better than hers. That's all they have to take. You don't have to sit up there and, and, and shade her. You don't have to go to her ops. You don't have to do anything. But like I said, if she feels like you're going to dethrone her, which is kind of impossible, or try to compete with her, then she gets tenant. And this is when she starts to kind of like wreak havoc and she starts she start to nitpick little things. It's sad that this 41-year-old woman who's going to be 42 acts this way, but she's been doing it for years. She literally falls out with every rap girl and it's very sad. Now, the Ice Spice situation, that wasn't her fault. 
But I Spice, I mean, it wasn't her fault either. Her friend, back, you know, kind of like threw her on the bus and told some private information that she confided in her friend and it got out there. But I won't say it was Nicki Minaj's fault. But then if you kind of look at the text message and look at what I Spice saying, like she's acting like she's my mother. Okay, like the way she's, you know, she's talking to me. So, you know, Nicki Minaj always had that authority type of personality. Always that commanding personality. And this is just a lot of things I have read and seen when it came down to her person. You know, she's always that tough person that's going to tell you about yourself. Whether you like it or not. She's not going to sugarcoat it. She's very direct, should I say. So, like I said, you know, this is what's, this is what's being talked about in the blogs. This is the word on the curb is that Nicki Minaj has now, you know, secretly got some type of animosity and she's not supporting JT. And mind you, this girl just dropped her mixtape. If this is your girl, this is your mentee, you her mentor, you would think that you would have, you know, shared the fact that she's going to be dropping her mixtape yesterday. Nicki Minaj did not budge. She did not post anything. She's on her tour, but she gets, I mean, she, she's always on social media. She sees a lot of things. She pick and choose what to respond to. So she knows that um, um, JT is dropping her uh, mixtape, but she feels the type of way. And now I'm also hearing that it could be the fact that Nikki's mad that JT didn't sign to her record label. I don't know if JT kind of misled her or was alluding to maybe signing to her record label and backed out last minute or changed her mind and this pissed Nikki, Nikki Minaj off. And then this is when Nikki Minaj felt like she was being used because maybe, you know, JT probably gaslit her and misled her to believe that, you know, I'm probably going to sign to you. Just let me think it through. Just give me some time. Let me, let me speak to my management and I probably will sign to you. And then she changed her mind. And so it made Nicki Minaj feel some type of way. Something happened. Sometimes we're not preview to everything that happened behind the scenes. We're not on every phone call. You know, we don't know what type of email that might have been, you know, had. We don't know what type of other communication that might have been had between JT and Nicki Minaj for Nicki Minaj to feel this way. So, like I said, in due time, it, it may come out. But JT is going to ignore her. She's, how y'all say, how y'all, y'all word. She's going to pay it because she don't need that fallout. And she's going to lose a lot of her support if she turns on Nikki and, you know, kind of go, you know, start dissing her or, you know, speaking about ill, ill about Nikki. It's not going to end well because Nikki and Minaj have a very strong following and the barbs will be the demise of JT. They're the reason why she is, her, her album is streaming, doing so well. Because of the support of the bars. Like I told you, her fan base is not authentic, authentically her fan base. They come from Nicki Minaj. She had a little bit of, you know, she had some fans that she built um, over time. But the new, the new fan base that she got now, you know, the one that kind of like, she has like, what, almost two, 300K followers. They came from Nicki Minaj camp. Rest assured, they came from Nicki Minaj. And she knows it. So she don't want to fall out with a Nicki Minaj. Even though JT can have a very saucy, her and Nicki Minaj has, you know, similar attitudes. They, they attitude could flare up. So, like I said, I see what Nicki Minaj is doing. Typical her. She's always been that way. Instead of letting these girls win, she's already at the top. She's already winning. They can't fulfill her shoes. Never can. Never will. I don't think she is. So, I don't know why you're so insecure and thinking that JT is going to want, want up on you. I don't know why you feel like JT is going to surpass you. Mind you, her fan base is really yours. She have her own, you know, some, uh, she had her own fan base that came along with her, but the ones, a lot of the fans that she got are from on Nicki Minaj and Nicki, Nicki Minaj know that. But again, she don't want to tell her, her barbs to kind of like cut her off because it's going to come off as messy. Y'all know Nicki Minaj got a bad stigma behind her name and a bad reputation when it come down to working with the other rap girls. But that's all I got to say, y'all. That's all I want to say. Like I said, you know, if this is true, it is what it is. Nicki Minaj is going to be Nicki Minaj. So either you like it, you love it, or you don't. Or like I said, stop dealing with her. Stop asking her for features and just keep your distance. And I think JT is kind of learning that too. So it is what it is.